So, episode 6 that we raced, it was pretty damn good as usual, you know me, I've been loving this series ever, th ever since it started with Chihuahua, I'm still reviewing it because this right here is hand down my, my uh, favorite show of this season, and it finally seems that, you know, like right now, we are narrowing down on who this killer is, because right now, one of my suspects, he was actually rolled out, because we see that, like, he was that, uh, that, the guy who I thought it might have been, it was that co-worker of his mom, you know, years ago, who we all saw him talking about, and that right there was the reporter, but no, you know, it's not him, because we saw him not only help our protagonist, but we see now that when we saw the killer and this guy, they have, you know, like different faces, because the reporter, he actually, you know, has a beard, and our killer, you know, the real killer, you know, this guy is like very clear cut but also you know uh, but also the reporter he actually backed what I've been saying about how this killer is like someone at very high power because he is somehow able to like go around and frame people by you know changing evidence or leaving evidence and pretty much you know making sure that you know the men he he, uh, he wants to frame you know actually get framed for it and so we see that, that the episode started off from, from last week where we have Henri he was now trapped the house because the uh, the killer he actually you know set a fire to it and so we see now we have our neighbors we have Sartre who came back and as soon as he heard that you know that uh, the armory you know had one inside and like you know she was like still in there this guy did not wait a second and we see him now running in there and so right now the fire it, it, like uh, and we see now that the fire it wasn't that bad but of course you know there's like all this smoke but luckily he had like some handkerchief and that right there was like able to block some of the smoke but we see now that when he went to help Henri, he was like definitely struggling because he uh he's not that strong and he even called her heavy even though this girl's look very very small and so right now while he was helping her Henri did come to a bit and we see her now take her phone and put it in his pocket because we all know that the killer had you know texted her from uh from Salteru's phone and that's and 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 if the uh, police found that on her of course they would like have more evidence to use against him and so right now when they finally got to the steps there was no way that you know Satoru could like you know take her down there alone because like you said he was not strong enough but then we have the manager who must have still been there you know watching over watching over Ari we see him now running in and so right now both of them were like able to help her you know get downstairs but there was no way Sartre could like go outside because of course you know the uh, police they'll be out there and so right now we have the manager saying you know go out the back I'll take her out and and of course you know he would get all the credit for this and this guy sounded so cocky and so arrogant when he said that and so right now this manager I definitely hate him you know e even more than the uh than a killer that's out there because you know to me like I said this this uh this manager he is a real piece of shit and that right there I've been saying you know since he was like trying to like screw over our trying to screw over Sartre you know last week and so right now we have Sartre who seemed to be in like some kind of like parking lot and or or he, he was like somewhere you know obviously but he was like thinking that that the other killer he must have been somewhere you know closer than he thought because he was like somehow able to know where some where uh where where, where Armory lived he knew you know when like she'd be home which meant that obviously he had to like go to that pizza place and see their schedule and so right now he was like narrowing down the subjects and so we see now that when he calls someone I thought maybe he was like trying to like you know um, uh, make a deal or or work out you know something with a killer you know so, so these two could, so, so these two could come to like face to face because we see now that when he was talking to you know that reporter on the phone this guy actually had red eyes and so I was thinking you know oh snap we finally might see you know the uh the killer you know really reveal himself but no we see now that you know these two they had met up and in like in uh, some cafe because obviously if this guy really killed really killed his mother there was no way he would like want to meet up in part of it and so right now they were like pretty much talking and eventually that right there you know led let, let the reporter you know taking Sartre to like his office and so right now they were like they were uh 
talking about the cases, and, and we see now that when when they mention Kayo, I'm not gonna lie, I was like livid when 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 uh when the uh when when this reporter said how she died, and of course when he also said you know that 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 that, that the uh that the story that the uh, police ran you know years ago, and so right now we see that uh. That uh, that Kyle's mother and father they had beat her, you know, so badly one night, and so we see now that they uh, put her in a shed, and so and so then you know when she had disappeared, you know they were saying that, that like Yuki came and got her, put her and put put her in, in their like in in their family cold storage, sprayed her head with antifreeze, which would like which would speed up the depth which was the speed up the death by freezing process and so in like 20 minutes she was like brain dead and, and and so after that you know they were saying that like that uh that uh that uh yuki had like took the body and like put it back in the shed and that right there was like so freaking heartbreaking to hear because you know like no matter how you think about it kayo just got you know so screwed up this poor little girl half half has a brutal death you know like uh even if yuki you know didn't do that because obviously you know this guy you know definitely didn't do it because now he, he's uh he's still being framed but the fact that you know that right there might have been a possibility by the real killer it just breaks your heart dude i'm telling you that right there is just so freaking messed up and so right now uh right now uh this reporter he knew about you know another case you know that happened that happened in the uh, in the town over where you know kids disappeared they were killed and found and so right now you know back then where Kayo and the other kids were kidnapped as well and 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 now we have this killer you know you know like like still not being caught but it seems that you know instead of like killing all these little kids he is now you know going after you know teens and adults you know that being you know Satoru's mother and of course Henri but luckily he did not kill Henri but we see now that while she, while she was uh, in the hospital we learned that the uh, police they think now that like that uh she might be Satoru's accomplice when, when it came to like killing his mother and that right there is also messed up i do wonder why is the killer you know like now trying to get her so involved because you know it, because it was a it, it was like the uh it, it was like the uh reporter said you know maybe Henri can't identify this guy and so maybe that's why he like really maybe that's why he really wants to like try so hard to uh get rid of her and so eventually we have uh, the we ha we have we have the other guy the uh, reporter he was now going to leave so that he could go question Henri in the hospital and so right now you know he had told Satoru that like he can't look up all the info he had on on his computer about the death that happened you know years ago when they were all still you know pretty young and and so and so one thing that also got me in the episode is where we learn now that you know one of the kids who were kidnapped. You, you know, because to me, I thought, you know, that right there was a girl that, you know, they were hanging out with in that little group of Sasha or friends. But no, that that little girl was actually a boy. And to me, that right there, I found, you know, rather surprising. And so this killer, he normally, you know, kills like girls. But when he kidnapped this boy and found out, you know, that right there what was a little boy he had no choice but to kill him because obviously if he lets him go you know this kid could like ride him out and so, so that that right there was like excuse me oh my god excuse me that right there was the only boy he like ever killed and so, and so now we see that like we have Sauteru looking up all of the uh, suspects on the list and, and, and so and so the only one he recognized was like Yuki obviously and so now going back to Henri we see now that when the uh, when the reporter came there you know obviously you know there was no way they would let him see Henri and so and so he was like faking that you know he had to that, that he uh had to eat the bathroom you know really badly and so we see now that when he uh, ran by the cops they were like laughing but but this guy was like pretty smart because you know because they were like so distracted and thought this guy was like going to the bathroom he was he was uh easily able you know to like sneak into Henri's room but then we learn now that you know Henri has now you know left left the hospital and 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 uh and her mother actually you know took her spot there and that right there 
you know, what's like, what's like a, a, a very nice little twist. And so we see now that, you know, and just like a little flashback, you know, we have uh, Henri and, and her mother talking. And right now, you know, Henri, you know, she was saying how, you know, Satru didn't do this. You know, he's man frame. And, and now they want to pin her as an accomplice. And so right now her, uh, her, her mother was saying that, you know, that, you know, even that uh, even today she had wished that like she realized that, that she uh ran after her husband and so right now she was telling the arm to, you know to like run after Satru, you know go to your friend and you, and, you know and uh and help him and so while while uh Satru was like busy going over the info going over the uh, information of, of all the cases you know that phone that went off and that right there was like Henri you know calling him and so right now they were like going to meet up and we see that you know Satru he had went to this park and there were these kids playing with this with this uh with this uh, airplane but uh but for some reason it could not fly and Satru helped him you know obviously you know he had learned that from Yuki but then we have you know uh, uh we have these adults saying why in the world is an adult here at this time of day you know looking at him you know uh like like uh like how was like some kind of creep or predator and that right there you know was like so messed up because to me it seems that you know at, like to me it seems that you know adults can go to the park now without some kind of like you know even like and to me that right there seems like it seems like a very cruel and you know a messed up logic but eventually he had went you know under that bridge and so right now you know he was like waiting for Omri but but at first he was not showing up and so we see him like he was like getting ready get, uh, getting ready to leave but then we see now that you know Henri you know had appeared and so right now you know like uh they were they, they were talking and we see you know that uh even now you know saw true actually actually you know let let's his thoughts you know uh slip, slip past his mind and, and actually said them out loud because he was saying that like he was glad that uh, or he uh that, uh that he that he was ashamed that you know for a second he thought this right here might be you know some kind of trap but we see now you know these were talking and they were having a, a pretty nice conversation but then out of nowhere we have the uh, police showing up and so right now you know like they, they were like going to arrest uh arrest on oh, uh, oh and also uh we see now that you know Sartre he was like talking about his manga where where uh where he made the story about some grim reaper who actually you know made things worse like like uh like the more he like, like the more he uh tried to help because apparently you know everything he did ended up and ended up in the uh in the depths of kids and so right now every time he would like try to correct that that right there made more and more people suffer and so we see now that when that when uh when Henri says that uh doesn't that sound like you now and we see that plane you know in the uh in the river you know going downstream i thought maybe we might see one of those kids dead because that right there would have been you know so messed up but for some reason i thought that right there might be you know a I thought that might be, you know, a possibility. I don't know why. But uh but now with like Satru arrested, we have Henri still, you know, actually uh uh like she was she was still actually defending him, but of course, you know, that right there wasn't working. You know, they were like gonna like take him in and book him because obviously now they got this guy that the real killer was like trying so hard to like uh, uh, like uh, we have we have the cops, you know. Finally, have this guy that the real killer had been trying so out the frame, and and so now we see that you know Henri, she felt so bad, you know, she was like saying sorry, I'm sorry because she because she figured that she figured that the cops must have followed her there, and so right now you know she was like crying. We we have you know I saw through saying the lady that uh, he that he was glad that he had uh, met her today, and, and and he was glad that you know that he had uh, trusted in her, and so right. Now he was thinking that like what what should he say in a time like this and that right there is where he would call the words of a hero and and uh and and he told her that like that uh he he can uh keep going because you know she still believes in him and so right now while he was like walking by we finally see the killer and uh and right now this killer has been like narrowed down 
to to a to a councilman, but at the same time, I don't believe that because what councilman do you know hangs around you know cops like this or, or crime scenes? So obviously, you know, I'm thinking now this guy might be some kind of like some kind of a private detective because that right there would give him like more free range to tamper with him like evidence or at least now you know that, that that's what i'm thinking you know that right there is like my new theory that i do want throw out there because why else would this guy you know be there you know looking at satru getting arrested and obviously we have satru you know spotting him and so now for the first time both of them have come face to face and i do wonder if satru you know will yell out or something because because uh we, we see now that a butterfly you know blue one it was now flying around so obviously a revival is definitely going to happen you know uh next week so now sartre definitely has you know a second chance to correct all of this so right now he uh he definitely you know can't mess up but, but like i said this uh this episode to me it was definitely good you know once again you know uh erase it like to me it, it continues on like this perfect train as I call it but of course let me know what you guys thought don't forget to like and subscribe and as always you got to get easy I will see you all next time